Hello, we're going to take a look today at um, how to save an image, and then we're going to upload that image to a website we call www.befunky.com. Our first step is going to um, go ahead into the internet. I use the Internet Explorer and the search engine Bing. You can use um, whatever works easiest for you. And I'm going to put in a name that many of you are familiar with. Miami Heat logo, and I'm going to click on images because we're looking for pictures and um, see what comes up. As we got a plethora of different Miami Heat symbols, I'm just going to choose this one on the bottom right, right here. We're going to right click and save as. Now, anytime you save as, the computer wants to know a couple of things. The first is where do you want to save it? We're going to go up here to our desktop, which all you guys should have. And just like you guys, I have a computer class folder as well. And I am going to call this Miami Heat Logo. And we're going to keep it as a JPEG. You can name the file whatever helps you best remember it. And we're going to save that. Then in the same Internet Explorer window, we're going to go to www.dfunky.com. Com. And www.befunky.com is a website that lets you edit images and different photos. Now, what I really like about BeFunky is you don't need to register, and everything on here is free. Now, you can get a more advanced version that you do need to register for. That's not something we're going to do here in school. That's not something we're going to do here in this class. But something that, if you'd like on your own time, that's between you and your parents or guardians, if that's something you're allowed to do. What we're going to do for school is we're going to click over here in the top right, Get Started. And after we hit Get Started, it's going to take a couple seconds to load. But once it does, I think you're going to see we can do some pretty neat things. Just for a disclaimer before we start, there are options for Facebook, um, Photo Bucket, Twitter, stuff like that. Obviously, that's not stuff we can do here in school. Um, again. What you do at your personal computer is between you and your parents and guardians. But for right here, right now in this classroom and in this school, we're going to stay away from all this stuff like that. So, right off the bat, you can see in the top right there's something that says upload or bring an image into befunky.com. As I just stated, you can get images from Facebook, Flickr, Photo Bucket. None of this stuff is stuff we're going to do in school. So, all we're going to click on, everyone's going to click on upload from PC. Once you click on Upload from PC, BeFunky wants to know what you want to search into. We're obviously going to click Computer Class because that's where our folder is. And we're going to click the Miami Heat logo. Next thing you know, we got our Miami Heat logo right where we want it. Now let's talk about um, some different editing techniques. I am not going to go through everything, especially on this video. This is just simply how to get the image into BeFunky and just give you a very very brief description if you want a basic editing tool down here on the left sharpen stuff smooth stuff if you want to crop something rotate it this is your this is the spot to do that right here you notice there's six other options so let's take a look at effects and effects is pretty neat it can uh, give you some different type of colors and different type of designs for right now we'll pick let's see what color pinhole does. And as you can see there's two different options. I'll select option one for no reason just to see what it's like. And we can apply that. And there we go, the changes are applied. Now we obviously like I said we have other options. We'll take a look at the artsy options. This gives a um, a little bit different texture, different ways of drawing. Obviously this is a photograph, but if we wanted to make it a sketch we can click on sketch and there's two different types of sketches we'll go with the black and white one and now magically now anytime you do an effect different types of effects whichever you apply last is the one that um, is the one that will stay now there's different you know we can change some minor details here but the bottom line is in my opinion this really doesn't look anything great I don't really like what I did so what's pretty neat about this is I can go to history and I can go back to these two options where I have the color pinhole and the original. I like the pinhole, so we're going to go back to that. And it erases everything I did in the artsy 
section. And there's also, you can add text if you want. You can add frames around the picture. You can add goodies, which are easy drag and drop options. Um, as said before, I'm not going to go through each and everything you can do. That's going to be your job um, for the next couple days. But we'll just we'll go over love because we all love the Miami Heat. And we'll put a nice little heart. Drop that right there in the basketball. Now once we do that, you can see, and we click on that, that has options. If we don't want a red heart, maybe we want a light green heart or really dark red heart or blue heart, whatever the color you're looking for. Many different options within options. So we changed our Miami Heat logo to um, color pinhole, and we added a heart. After you go through all the different options and things you want to change, we want to go to save share. Again, Facebook option, Twitter option, Tumblr option, these are all options we're not interested in. The only place you can save yours here in class in Roberto Clemente is to your PC. So we're going to click on your PC, and right away it asks you what do you want to call the file name. I'm going to keep it Be Funky Miami Heat logo. That's if you want a, a JPEG or a ping, we can keep it as a JPEG, and we will save this. And after we click save, The computer again obviously is going to ask us where do you want to save it. It takes us right to the desktop and computer class, which is where we want it. And it's called Be Funky Miami Heat Logo. I'm fine with that, so I'll keep it there. Save as file type. Remember, we already told it we wanted a JPEG. No reason to change that. So we're going to click Save. And that is the basics to how to find a photo online. Save it. Upload it on BeFunky.com. Make some changes and save those changes. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.